in this video I'm gonna show you how to add validations first of all let me show you what does this package do here you need to open the empty directory in visual studio code editor you can choose any editor here you need to create app.js file let me open the terminal I need to install the joy package npm install joy first of all I need to import the joy package it is a schema based validation system I'm going to create a new schema first let's create a schema object and a should be string I'm gonna validate that there is a string is a method I'm gonna use this method and dot required whenever you create an object a string must be required property let me show you how to create a new object I'm gonna save result in the result variable and I need to call the joy dot validate method this validate method will take a value your object your new object I am going to define the type of this a should be number I defined the a is must be string here I'm gonna set the type of a is number the second argument is schema let's give a shot this result variable it will return the result variable it will return the basically object with three to four properties the first one is let me log the result dot error and I also need to log the result dot dot value let's give a shot I can run the project by using node server not app.js uh, you caught the error did you see that validation error a fails because a must be string I have set the number let me set the a string it should be a number blah 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 ah everything looks good there is no error it has returned null and here I have the object this joy dot validate also works with callbacks let me show you I'm gonna call joy dot validate here you need to provide the value I'm gonna choose a object and the property will be number the second is second argument is schema and the third argument will be error and value if error comes we need to log the error or you can throw the error let me do that throw the error and here I need to log the value I'm going to provide the invalid value for the a property let's give a shot let me read the note app.js uh, you will find the error throw error because a must be string let me define the string let's give a shot ah, everything looks good you can also use this validate method with promises here I let me mention that callback way and you can it, it can also works with promise let me do it joy dot validate and it will take a new object I also set the type of this property to number the second argument is schema it will call the then function when promise has resolved here we will get the resolve value if error came let me call back method I'm gonna log the resolve value let me catch if error comes it will call the cache method with error value I need to lock the error in this case it will lock the error because I am providing the invalid value did you see that let's give a shot ah, I got the error because a must be string let me provide the valid value ah, did you see that I got the a object with valid value 
there is an another way to define the schema joy dot object it is a function I need to specify my required keys set of the allowed object keys these keys will be allowed the first one is name name is required property I already told you how can you add validate this name add validation joy dot string is a function you see that this string is a function generates a schema object that match the string data and I'm gonna set it to the required it is also a method and the second property is city address let's assume city and address are optional properties you can also use the optional method let's give a shot here I am going to create a payload object name is LinkedIn and city is I'm gonna add random add city and I also need to add the a double d r -E double s random address let's do that now I'm gonna call joy dot validate it will accept my payload object and second is company schema and I'm gonna use promises here resolve value please give me the resolve value when promise has been resolved here I need to lock the resolve value if something went wrong if I provide the invalid value you can lock the error let me do that console.log oops everything looks good let's give a shot note app.js haha everything looks good let me comment the name this time I don't need to provide the name I want the validation error let me show you does it work Ah, oh, I got the error message name field because name is required property it will work if you will not provide the city and address let's give a shot uh, everything looks good I got the name with LinkedIn